Welcome to being a music student webinar. My name is Kaif. I work for the student recruitment team um, and today we have Tom, one of our ambassadors from music. Um, so Tom, um, how? Um, let's talk about research in university. So what steps did you take before joining universities? Uh, well, obviously in uh, sixth form I looked at UCAS and looked at the different universities and about distance and um, which did the courses I was interested in and, and all that and I went to open days for six unis um, and applied for five of them and Chichester was the one that I put at the top. Amazing. So how did you feel about going to university? Um, yeah, I think it's similar to lots of people. It's a bit of a daunting prospect mm -hmm. to go away from home and family, but it's a very exciting opportunity as well. Um, and it's a good step to continue in education and have someone sort of helping you with what you need to do um, in terms of academics. You're not just going straight into the world, um, which I found really useful. Amazing. Um, so what's your top tip when deciding on university? So how did you choose Chichester? Um, well, I think it's different to everyone. I didn't want to be too far away from home so I could go back when I wanted to. Um, the most important thing is obviously looking at the courses that you're interested in, um, which this is this is music, of course, and at Chichester there's a lot of different uh, music courses um, which are similar to other unis as well. Um, but I think the most important thing is going to open days, looking around, seeing what you like about campuses and the town or city that you're in. I think that's the most important thing. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Um, so, so we mentioned some top tips already. So visit universities, open days, uh, go on campus tours, do taster sessions with other universities. Um, it's really, really important. Um, test run your journey from university to home so make sure it's quite an easy travel or less not as complicated as you'd think um, because you'll be doing that um, a few times through either through holidays or when if you chose to commute um, visit the local area um, see if there's much to do see if there's um, things that you enjoy doing around the local area um, this is because you'll probably be spending three to four years of your time around this area um, but another important top tip is ask questions. So if that's when you're visiting open days or doing campus tours or taster sessions, make sure to ask like lecturers questions, students questions. Um, so those type of questions will help you make a decision what unis um, suit you. So getting started. So what was your first week at university like, Tom? Um, yeah, so I did. There's lots of different taster sessions for ensembles um, and obviously societies and stuff as well. Um, there's different taster sessions for those. You can try different things out um, and there's lots of events the uni put on for sort of the type of person you are. So there's sort of nightlife events um, and I know there's like coffee and cake events and things like that. So there's lots of things for depending how you are and um, meeting people with similar interests as you. Amazing. So how did you find settling into student life? Um, I think this is another thing that seems like quite a daunting prospect before you go, but it's actually very easy. I mean, you're with uh, however many four to six um, flatmates if you uh, live in the accommodation who are in the same position as you um, and together actually you work out how to settle in quite easily. Amazing. So what does a typical week look like now? Um, so I'm a, I'm a master student now. Um, I have uh, two lectures a week and then also um, I do two studies, which is another important thing to mention. I think for music is you can uh, have lessons for two studies. So I have an hour a week for my first and half an hour for my second study of lessons a week. Um, and a lot of the things with music is to get involved with the ensembles or to form your own ensembles, depending on what uh, kind of music you're into. Um, there's there'll be people for everyone and ensembles for everyone to be involved in and workshops. And I think that's uh, a really important part of music at uni 
is um, you'll have probably fewer contact hours than maybe with a um, course like history or maths or something, um, but you'll um, have lots of time working, actually playing and practicing and uh, working with other people and lecturers. Amazing. So, what were your biggest concerns before coming to university? Um, well, I think uh, quite similar to other people is making friends, but that is it's very easy because um, because you're with people who like similar things. I think when you come to a university and you're doing a specific course, everyone's interested in that and you find people who like similar things to you very easily. Um, and also there's so many different kinds of societies. There's obviously the sport ones um, which are common and then there's all these specific other ones that some like some of you may have not have heard of. There's one the sport one, Ultimate Frisbee, which I'd never heard of before coming here. And there's yeah. I think there's sort of Harry Potter things and um, lots of different specific things and you can form your own ones as well. I think if there's um, a group of you who like uh, that sort of thing. Amazing. Um, yeah, so like some of the concerns that we know students have is living in halls, making friends, seems quite very daunting meeting new people. Um, another thing is looking after their own money. Um, definitely now uh, with the cost of living as well. So um, we do have support that's on offer that helps you um, through budgeting or if you needed a, a bit of extra money, you could talk to them. Um, coping with workload um, compared to college, obviously there is the jump. Um, but hopefully um, if you seek the right support and also speak to your own lectures, you'll be able to make that jump. Um, and then um, the other one was whether I could learn new skills. So um, you'll learn learn a real range of uh, different skills when you're through through your year, uni years. Um, so the person you are before you start uni to now is completely different and you'll have loads of skills to gain from that. So moving away from home and making friends. So how did you feel about moving away from home, Tom? Um, well, I don't live too far away. I'm about an hour and a half, so hmm. it means that I can go back when I need to. Maybe like a friend's birthday or something in the weekend, I might go back. Um, so it wasn't too bad for me because I was able to go back. But um, you also, um, as, I've, as I've said, meeting new friends is a lot easier than maybe uh, you might think before coming and so those people around you um is really beneficial to have amazing um how, how did you find living in student accommodation your first year um yeah i lived in uh fishbourne accommodation um so i had five other flatmates and uh yeah having the similar people to you in terms of their first year uni and they don't know um what they're doing either is quite nice to sort of work it out together um, and uh, sometimes you uh, get on really well sometimes you'll be just sort of fine with each other which is what happened with me I didn't really um, get on amazingly but we just got on fine and I ended up um, living with uh, three people who were all um, housemates as uh, flatmates together in first year so sometimes it can work out really well, sometimes it's just fine and there's always the option of um, moving where you are, um, which I know one person who did, so it's not very common um, that you won't get on, uh, but there is always that option. Amazing. Um, and how did you feel about making new friends and meeting new people? Yeah, it's, a, it's exciting to meet new people and friends and I am um, in the basketball society as well, so I've got friends from that and there's loads from music and something else about music is um, a lot of courses you'll be just with people in your year but in music you make friends with people from lots of different years um, because of the instruments they play and the ensembles that you'll be mm. in and um, so it's a lot of new people you can meet. Amazing, um, you've obviously just briefly uh, mentioned it but obviously you mentioned about joining basketball. So how was that and what was the process like that? Um, so there was a taster session for anyone 
in the uh, first week and then in the second week there were the tryouts for it and um, and then yeah I was uh, able to be selected and I've been in that for four years now um, and it's a really nice group of people um, so yeah I really recommend joining a sports society. Amazing. So coping with assessments, so what type of assessments do you have? Yes, yeah, so music is going to be different to most subjects and you won't have exams. Um, there'll be uh, either um, like coursework in terms of maybe an essay or a um, like lecture recital or those kind of things where you mix an essay and maybe teaching or jazz or something or composition. So there's a lot of different types of assessments you might have. And then at the end of every year, you'll have a performance assessment. Amazing. And how do you prepare for these assessments? Uh, well, everyone is going to be different. When you're doing your performance, it's obviously working with your teacher and practicing. Um, uh, and it's just sort of, there's so many different types. Uh, it's just working with the lecturer that you have and uh, and your friends as well, just um, who are in the same lectures as you to work out what the different things you need to do for each assessment. Because obviously composition is going to be different to writing an essay and teaching someone. It's all very different. And how many and how often do you have assessments? Um, for my undergraduate, um, so it's made up of 120 credits. Um, my, my course has lots of different music courses, so I was on a BA music performance, so I had 30 credits of um, performance and then each other module was worth 15 credits. Um, so that's how many modules I did. Um, but if you do a BMUS course, which is four years long, uh, your performance will be 60 credits and then you only have to make up 60 with the other modules. Um, and that's over the whole year, so you'll be doing uh, half of 120 each semester. Amazing. Um, so support on offer at a university we offer a real range of support. Um, Tom, do you use any of the support? Uh, so I use the wellbeing service at um, one point, which was um, a really good service as they um, start with um, the people on the, the student wellbeing uh, course um, and the psychology courses to start with talking to you and they'll refer you to someone else and you can have um, a certain amount of free hours um, working with a um, mental health specialist, um, which was really beneficial to me. That's great to hear. Um, so what would you say to someone considering studying a music course? Uh, well, I think it's about choosing the um, right place for you. Uh, I chose Chichester because out of the unis that I went to, it was the biggest sort of hub of music. It's a really big part of um, the uh, the student numbers here. Um, there's a lot of people doing music. There's so many things to be involved with, and that's why I um, found this the best place for me. Amazing. So sum up your time um, at Chichester so far. Um, well, obviously, apart from my uh, I think it was my second year was the the COVID year, um, but other than that, it's been it's been really good to um, start out in Chichester and um, something with is music is um, your own ensembles and also the um, tutor led ensembles. You can do gigs. There's gigs at uni and there's gigs outside as well, um, which is something really nice that you can do. Um, as part of a music course, that's been my sort of favourite part. Um, I, some people have heard of the Goodwood Festival of Speed, which is one of my favourite things where we play to some celebrities and royalty, um, which are fantastic opportunities. And they're the, they might have been my favourite part of um, being at Chichester Uni. I bet. Um, so this comes, this brings us to the end of our webinar. So. If anyone watching this does have any further questions, please contact us at outreach at chai.ac.uk or study here at chai.ac.uk. Um, thank you very much, Tom, for your help today. Um, thank you. And thank you very much, everyone, for watching.